these two girls love their dad a lot. More than that. <laughs> More than we could ever imagine. So this summer was all about making memories because just a few short months ago, their dad was on the operating table getting chest surgery. I mean, it's scary, right? You find out you have a mass, and then what does this mean to you? Like, what does it mean for, for life, dying, all that sort of thing? And then, and then you're sitting there in pre-op, and, and you just don't know what to expect. But these robotic arms made the surgery much easier. 3D visualization of the instruments that are over there. The surgery itself is the same, so you're doing the same surgery, you're just using a different tool to do it. And I mean, my incisions are probably an inch, and there's just four of them. To me, cutting through the sternum and opening my chest up is way scarier than a robot. Plus, the recovery time is barely anything. It's a great feeling, especially to get people back to their normal life faster and with less pain. Just two weeks after chest surgery... We did go bike the Hiawatha Trail, and then um, at three weeks, I took my girls and my wife and we went backpacking in the Cabinet Mountains. That extra time was priceless because after surgery, Brad Seifert got another call from Dr. Boyum. He said, hey, you know, I got some, some, some news for you. That cytology came back and it, and it looks like it's lymphoma. A difficult thing to hear, of course, but especially for his two girls. Their, their grandma, um, about two years ago, died of cancer. So then when they hear their dad has cancer, so it's sad, but, uh, but we're getting through it. Yeah. Try and get me back there, Daddy. I think there's a little value in, in suffering in that I, ultimately I will become a better person. And, um, sorry, but to be a better husband and a better father. Don't worry, Dad. Your girls already love you more than anyone can even describe. I like that he's a great parent. In North Idaho, <laughs> Nicole Hernandez, Krem2 News. And Brad is now undergoing chemotherapy. He says he's thankful for the extra time that he got to spend with his family thanks to this state-of-the-art surgical technology.